right, here we go. And I am actually the last person inside Old Trafford now. Do you want to have a little look? I could actually go out in the middle of the pitch and do it from there, but I'd get into trouble. Look at this. Beautiful. Reports of its demise have been greatly exaggerated. And what we saw today on this pitch was a game that we will remember forever. That was absolutely magnificent. Because no one's here, I'm allowed to show me colours now. Just been in, uh, I've been working for TV today. So I've just been uh, having to be sensible and interview Liverpool and United players post-match. What a game, what a game. One of the best ever, honestly. The atmosphere was banging as well. And United in the semi-finals and a, a good draw against Coventry City where Mark Robbins has done a fantastic job. Hopefully City go out to Chelsea and then might finish the season smiling. Might as well try and be optimistic after today. So I've been up since four this morning. So if I look tired, it's because I am tired. But I'm going to give you the ratings. I'm still buzzing after that. I spoke to um, Ten Hag said, if you go into Manchester tonight, you will not have to buy a drink. He said, yeah, but I can't do that. <laughs> Obviously, don't just imagine him bowling into the nag's head. So, Anana, um, busy. I'm giving him eight. I, I thought he had a really good game, even though he conceded three times. I thought he made several really good reflex um, shots. There was um, a top save. Liverpool's equaliser from... McAllister was a deflection. Good reaction saves from, from Nunes. I've written here in my note, the cat. Um, amazing ball to Harry Maguire after 98 minutes. This was a long, long game. Just better adjust this, hadn't I? It was a bit wonky. Does it matter? Aaron Wambasaka, uh, he'd just come back. I thought he had a very good game as well. Um, played at left back. Don't know why. Should have asked the manager that. Uh, badly fouled by Gomez after an hour. Um, in the first minute, he actually scraped a shot on goal. Uh, should have left one of the chances. Oh, that, that first chance. The ball was actually coming towards Scott McTominay. He, he had a really good chance to put it in, but Aaron took it. There can't be mosquitoes in Old Trafford. If you're a mosquito, you don't live in Manchester. Um, but I thought Aaron tackled brilliantly. Lindelof, uh, he was up against an exceptionally strong Liverpool forward line. Uh, blocked two shots. Shot wide himself after 100 minutes. Um, it, I remember in the first half, he missed quite an important tackle. Uh, Varane, seven. Lindelof was seven. Um, Overhit a pass to Rashford. Headed two Liverpool tacks away. Supported the attack at set pieces. I thought he was better in the first half when he looked the top player that he is. Um, but Liverpool dominated for a time in a second and I think it was difficult for him. Delo just had a six-minute chat with him. So I'm going to give him seven or an eight. It's his birthday tomorrow. He's buzzing. I, I think he looks more confident. Well, I know he, he feels more confident now than he ever has done as a Manchester United player. And you've seen that. You've seen his positioning. He's very comfortable doing what Eric wants him to do. Uh, he... Made a really good tackle after 32 minutes to stop a Liverpool attack. And I've got here, he cleared a ninth minute shot away. So I'm sure it happened, I wouldn't have written it otherwise, would I? Uh, Mainu, eight. Calm, unfussed. I sat next to Arthur Alberston, the very experienced uh, Manchester United defender. Played hundreds and hundreds of times. And he said he's looking like someone who's been playing top level football for 10 years. Um, got his foot to turn a couple of Liverpool attacks into United attacks. It took the ball from Salah when he was going at goal. Very calmly just pushed it back to Anana. Um, made a pretty strong tackle on Harvey Elliott. Uh, McTominay, seven, influential. Um, followed Garnacho's shot in to put United ahead after 10 minutes. Uh, won the ball in the lead up to the third as well. And then ran onto a Rashford ball himself and got a shot, but it was just wide after 116 minutes. I'm enjoying doing, doing these. I didn't think United would win today during the game. I just was building myself up to face disappointment. And to that side, whoa, whoa. I can't get locked in Old Trafford. Can you still see me? You don't need to see me, do you? 
right? Okay, only three minutes to go. Garnacho, eight, three shots on target in the first 27 minutes. Uh, the first one, which led to the goal, moaned at the ref a couple of times when the moment had passed and placed a shot across goal, ran at goal on 52. No, that's Bruno, because you can't see now, because it's going dark. I think Garnacho is is becoming a real top player and he had a very good game today against Liverpool. Just spoke to Andy Robertson as well and he praised United but he felt Liverpool should have won and that they dominated and Liverpool played well too. Bruno Fernandes, seven, um, swung a 23rd minute free kick over, that was just in front of the Scousers, um, claimed a foul before the Liverpool goal. He was really moaning about that. Bruno moaning, no honestly. I don't think it was a foul. I can say it in a relaxed manner now because United won. And it was he who ran at goal on 52 and placed the ball across the goal. Uh, Rashford, um, I thought much improved. I really, the Stretford end sang his name properly today for the first time in a long time. So that's showing you something. Had a very good effort after three minutes, which was saved by Kelleher. Um, he was involved. Um, but let the player run past him for Liverpool's equaliser. Yep, that, that happened, remember that. Um, had to score at the end of normal time in front of Stratford and he didn't. Cool, cool finish for the third. What a moment that was. Uh, I thought he got better and better and he'd set up McTominay as well. So well done, Marcus. Um, Hoyland is having a verbal disagreement with McTominay over where the ball should have gone. He had um, a shot himself, blocked by Van Dijk uh, at the start of the second half. Um, six. I'm gl I was glad that he came back, and I think it'll be important, but it wasn't really uh, his day. Subs, Anthony Santos came on for Hoyland, actually. Did all he needed to do. A right-footed equaliser in front of the Stratford end. And he also shot over at the start of, uh, of extra time. That Pretty encouraging from Anthony, and the top finish, wasn't it? Is he worth an eight? I think he is. No, honestly. Better finish this soon, because otherwise I'm going to get locked inside Old Trafford. And Maguire, do you know what? People don't know this. Harry Maguire was only trained for two days for this game, and wins everything in the air. Ran onto an Anana ball after 98 minutes, but he's not Van Nistelrooy, is he? He's Harry Maguire. Um, what I'm going to give Harry, I think Harry was uh, a, a solid seven, who did well. Uh, Ericsson came on for Cobby after 80 minutes. Liverpool's third deflected off him, which was um, a bit unlucky. But he created the chance for, for Marcus, which won the game. I'm going to get thrown out of here in about one minute. I'll be one minute and I'll be done. I'm doing my last three players, mate. Um, Ahmad came on for Varane after 84. Superb running back to stop a four against two Liverpool attack after 110 minutes. Lost the ball and won it back after 118 minutes. We got the winner. Brilliant. Just brilliant. 8.5. Johnny Evans didn't play, but sent very positive vibes. Everybody could feel him. You're lying if you think that that wasn't the case. 10 out of 10. Mason Mount came on. Well, good to see him back. Came on after 115 minutes. I don't think that's enough time to win a rating. I've got to go. I'm getting thrown out of Old Trafford. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. We'll go to Wembley, Liverpool or not. Manchester United 4, Liverpool 3.